From the Home Slice News Center, this is the Daily Slice for Friday, June 10th, 2022. I'm D. Ray Knight. This is what's going on. Officials say South Dakota recorded its largest primary election turnout in more than a decade, with roughly one in three registered voters casting a ballot. The 32% showing was the most since the 2010 primary, when nearly 35% of voters cast ballots in a race with several Republicans fighting for the nomination for governor. This year's turnout was bolstered by a historic number of Republican legislative primaries and a controversial constitutional amendment. Yesterday was the 50th anniversary of the 72 flood and several events were held to remember the event. Amy Rose has more. All this week, Rapid City has been marking the 50th anniversary of the 1972 flood that claimed the lives of 238 people. Rapid City Mayor Steve Allender shared his message for survivors of the flood at last night's Summer Nights. There are many people in Rapid City who every time they visit the Greenway, the open spaces, the parks, those were created in honor of the flood victims and survivors, Allender said. Also yesterday was the dedication of the flood storyboard wall at the Summit Arena. Summer is here, and South Dakota roads and intersections will likely see more pedestrians. That is leading local law enforcement to urge drivers to be aware of their surroundings. Rapid City Police spokesman Brendan Medina says it's not always drivers who need to pay attention. He says pedestrians also need to protect themselves. If somebody feels that just by being in a crosswalk that they're immediately protected from all harm, that's not the case, he said. They still have due diligence for their own safety to look both ways to make sure that oncoming traffic sees that they're in the crosswalk. In national and international news, here is the latest on the war in Ukraine. As Russia's invasion of Ukraine grinds into its fourth month, officials in Kyiv have expressed fears that the specter of war fatigue could erode the West's resolve to help the country push back Moscow's aggression. The U.S. and its allies have given billions of dollars in weaponry to Ukraine. Europe has taken in millions of people displaced by the war. And there's been an unprecedented unity in post-World War II Europe in imposing sanctions on President Vladimir Putin and his country. But as the shock of the February 24th invasion subsides, analysts say the Kremlin could exploit a dragged out entrenched conflict and possible waning interest by the West that might lead to pressuring Ukraine into a settlement. A House panel investigating the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol has firmly laid blame on Donald Trump. In Thursday's primetime hearing, lawmakers said the siege was no accident, but an attempted coup and a direct result of the defeated president's effort to overturn the 2020 election. Representative Benny Thompson, a Democrat from Mississippi, said the attack put America's constitutional democracy at risk. Thursday's hearing showed new video and other evidence from the deadly Capitol assault. The panel also detailed the chilling backstory as defeated President Donald Trump tried to overturn Joe Biden's 2020 election victory. Live testimony included a police officer who was pummeled in the riot and a documentary filmmaker tracking the extremist Proud Boys leading the melee. The Uvalde school police chief has defended his reaction to the deadly Robb Elementary School shooting. Chrissy Davies has more. The Texas school police chief criticized for his actions during one of the deadliest classroom shootings in U.S. history says in his first extensive published comments that he didn't consider himself the incident commander as the massacre unfolded. School District Police Chief Pete Arredondo told the Texas Tribune that he assumed someone else had taken control of the law enforcement response to the shooting at Robb Elementary School. An 18-year-old gunman killed 19 children and two teachers behind a locked classroom door that the chief said was reinforced with a steel jam and could not be kicked in. Officers did not confront the gunman for more than an hour as they waited on a key that would unlock the door. Your weather forecast from the Home Slice Weather Center. Mix of sun and clouds today and a high of 83, low tonight 63. Expect more of the same this weekend with highs in the low 80s. And that was your Daily Slice for Friday, June 10th, 2022. The Daily Slice is a production of Home Slice Media Group. Hosted by D. Ray Knight with Amy Rose and Chrissy Davies. Executive producer Mark Houston. Engineered by Chris Jacquez. I'm D. Ray Knight. Have a great day.